Hello everyone and welcome to the CodeMC server. My name is Rob and today I'm standing in my sorting system. We spent most of last episode building this and uh, in the last few days I've actually finished off all the redstone, the circuits and everything that needed to be done. Uh, you can see all of these hopper lines with the composters on top uh, to help with lag. So actually, this system is very, 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 very close to being finished. I've added all the structure in. The only thing that I'm missing is all the items. Because in order for the sorting system to work, you actually have to have at least one of each item that you want to sort within the system already. And actually, I want to get two of each items because I want to put them in frames or as blocks down here. So you can see what's in each chest. Now there's actually space for 432 items here and a few bulk items up here. Um, that's a lot of items. So what I'm going to be doing this episode is just going around the server trying to collect every single one of these items that I need. Some of them not so difficult, you know, golden carrots. I currently have some in my hand. Stone, really, really simple. But then you've got stuff like netherite blocks and ancient debris and various types of prismarine and chorus roots and all kinds of things that are gonna just take a while to get hold of. But before we start working on the sorting system, I'm gonna meet up with some of the other players on the server. Some of the Codians, Coders, Coderoonies, Coderoonies? That was Avian's suggestion and I don't like it Avian, I tried it. I tried it and I didn't like it. I, I think we need a different name. Coderoonies is just not right. So anyway, I'm meeting the other players to discuss a few things. First of all, um, the Labyrinth, it's pretty much there but we've got a few little things that we need to finish off so we need to just meet up to discuss that but more importantly we're going to be talking about the ussr now for those who don't know i've been getting strange messages by a group called the ussr and i don't really know what it entails so i'll be hopping on the call with the other guys in a second and we can find out exactly what the ussr plans to do Hey Rob! Oh, hello there. Hey. hey, you are here. Fancy seeing you hey, here. Hey, so it's not like it, fancy seeing you here too. All. You would think we kind of planned this, but not at all. Uh, <laughs> so here's what I have been working on. Yeah. Um, I'm not much of a decorator either, so this is just kind of throwing some stuff together. But um, this was my idea for the Ender Pearl Stasis area. Yeah. Throw your pearl down, yeah, and then whenever it's activated. Oh, magic yeah. trick. Shoot, shoot your back right up for here. <laughs> so, <laughs> there we go. so then we in theory, if you hit the button, back to lobby. I'm it takes, takes a second. Break. It's a long oh, redstone yeah, line. There we go. <laughs> 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 it's a long redstone line, but yeah. so it takes a second or two. But okay, yeah. so it works. Yeah, so that's good. Perfect. Yeah, Avia. There's hey. Avian. Hey. Yeah, you can um, you can follow me. I think Vadimir might have gotten out um, easy on this one. <laughs> do, do I need to save my stuff? Do I need to hide my stuff? No, you aren't gonna die. I'm not gonna die, okay. This good. time. Oh. Promise. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I oh, made okay. I made this secret Oh. Uh, I made this secret place like two weeks ago. Oh wow, okay. Ooh. Oh ooh, okay. You have been made right. be careful. There's someone you. here. Hold on, know. I'll get in there eventually. Oh my god. Okay. I didn't place the sign, so we're getting rid of it. So okay. this is uh this is the job board. Okay. And um yeah, so uh I need you all to get out your diamonds. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> this is uh this is my Excuse wealth me? distributinator. Why am I a farmer? <laughs> <laughs> oh everyone's a farmer. How else are we gonna make food? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Everyone's a farmer, with one exception. Well, yeah, we need someone to command the farmers. <laughs> Let, let's wait a second. Let's, let's slow down a second. Okay. So, just one. You created the USSR, right? Yeah. Okay. And you, you, we're gonna put our diamonds in here, and it's gonna distribute yeah. them. Yeah. Equally. So if you're poor, you get other people's money, and if you're rich, you don't need all those diamonds because you're rich. So you give them to the poor people. <laughs> it's a, it's a very compelling oh. argument. 
Amen, how many diamonds do you have? Oh, I have a, I have a very big amount. Okay. Can you give us a number? Uh, sorry, I can't count. <laughs> oh, lost the ability to count all of a sudden, huh? Excellent. How, how does that work? You can just uh, put your diamonds in there. Okay, put my diamonds in here. Does this count for future diamonds as well? Oh, uh, no, just this one time, unless we do it again. Okay, fair, 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 fair. Oh, you're rich. Okay, I think it's, I think it's done. So you can take yours out. So I have lost 34 diamond blocks. Oh, uh, that, that's actually, that's quite funny because I have made 27 blocks and three diamonds. Wow, I have made nine. Okay, bye everyone. Okay, see ya. Was that, was that it? Are we, is this the end of the USSR? Is this the Cold War? What era are we? <laughs> <laughs> Our questions have not been answered. <laughs> I think we have been scammed. Yeah. So in case that wasn't very clear, basically the USSR is a scam. <laughs> basically, Avian has uh, created this whole this whole faction, this whole idea, just so he could get my diamonds and so he could get Code's diamonds. So um. I actually lost 34 diamond blocks in that transaction. That's about half of what I had. I'm going to do a big mining session to get those diamonds back. But also, I'm going to get revenge. And I know exactly what to do. Okay, so this is what I've done. Built a little shop. Doesn't look like much. Doesn't matter. Wrote a book. Says, have you just lost a lot of money to a shady Russian agency? You may be entitled to compensation. For literally free... I will prank the person responsible until they return the stolen diamonds. I suggest you do the same. So there we go. I'm going to put that there. But yeah, so I'm hoping that, um, you know, whoever else has been scammed, maybe code, maybe will help me, you know, get my money back. It is now time to collect all the items for the sorting system. Diamond, diamond block, gold nugget, iron nugget, gold ore, Gold ingot, coal, iron ore, lapis lazuli, coal ore, lapis lazuli ore, lapis blocks, obsidian, dispensers, paper, powered rail, rail, gunpowder, observer, spectral arrows, crying obsidian, flint, block of gold. Look, I'll level with you. I was going to do a very long video of me just shouting out the names of all the items whenever I find them, and I just realised that would be incredibly boring, because 432 items is a lot of items. So I figured instead of doing that, I'm actually going to just show you some highlights of some of the rarer items that I had to collect, and how that went. Now one of the most annoying items to collect I think is going to be gas tears, because Gas don't drop tears very often, and it's always a pain to kill the gas in the first place. So first of all, I need to find a gas that has spawned in. There it is. Right, let's try and get this gas down. I must not hit the piglin. Okay, so that's dead, but I don't think it dropped a tear. No, it did not. Oh, 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 there's one, there's one. Now, if it falls in the... Okay, it's not in the lava, good. Yep, dead, dead, dead. Oh, ghast here, I think that's a ghast here. Let's go and see, let's go and see, how do I get up there? Not now, skeleton, can't you see I'm busy? Yep, that's my first ghast here. Perfect. Come on, little ghast. Come out to play. Oh, magma, I need a magma... Uh, cream. Okay, excellent. Magma cream. Whenever whenever you play Minecraft in the nether, there's always a million gas attacking you, but the second you need a ghast, it's not here. It disappeared completely. Oh, there it is. Nice and easy. Come on. Oh, not now. <laughs> yes, ghast here. Excellent. Now the next thing I need to find is a beehive. Because I've got various honey based items that I need to collect. Oh, a beehive. Bees. Yep, 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 there we go. That's one. Two. 
free. I think this is how it works, but I'm not 100% sure. What I do need is a load of flowers. If I, if I make them, then I will have more bees. <gasps> more bees! Okay, I'm going to leave them to pollinate for a bit. And in the meantime, I'm going to go and get myself some netherite stuff. So the lab vent is coming along really well. Um, I'm basically working on my entrance area. So this is how you would get to my entrance. And um, at the moment, my plan is is quite cool, I think. Um, I'm taking inspiration from Indiana Jones, for example. And essentially, I think the way to get into my labyrinth is you walk all the way up here, you go through this little passageway, and then there's a big pit and you have to jump into the pit. Now, obviously, there's going to be stuff underneath it to protect you when you actually land. So I'm, I'm currently making this shaft into um, just just sandstone so it looks a bit better <laughs> okay so I built this little shop in retaliation of AV stealing all our diamonds um, and apparently there's an eviction notice you're required to evacuate before the 25th of Feb um, which is tomorrow I believe at the time of recording um, it says can't be enforced we have no mayor absolutely true we still have no mayor and it only says yet with a sneaky face um so so it seems like uh, people have been fighting over this little shop i wonder if this is gonna lead to some kind of mayor election campaign thing oh god there's so much going on on this server um still no idea what this is nobody's claimed ownership of the widow rose death machine now the last thing i need to do is find an ocean monument okay there's an ocean monument just there and um, there's two ways you can do an ocean monument really. The risky way where you just go in and with a few doors and you hope for the best. Or there's a safe way where you have a load of potions, invisibility, uh, water breathing, all this kind of stuff which will help you survive. So obviously I'm going for the risky version. Is that a good idea? Maybe not. Is it going to be fun? Absolutely. The most important thing we need to find is a sponge room because we can buy prismarine and stuff in the shopping district but we can't get any sponges so we need to find a sponge room. So if you've never been to an ocean monument before there's a few issues within the ocean monument. First of all there's guardians which are those things that are currently attacking me but also you've got elder guardians which will similarly try and kill you. Okay so this is an elder guardian. They are tough things and not very friendly and they can give you something called mining fatigue which means that you can't actually mine properly which is a nuisance like there now i've got mining fatigues so i can't actually mine anymore the doors are half of protection because the guardians can't fire through doors like that but also they're little air pockets <gasps> spongerum spongerum i found a spongerum excellent Okay, and I don't have any more mining fatigue, so we can get all these nice sponges and take them home. I finally collected every single item, so it is now time to put them within the sorting system so we can get sorting. All the items have been included in the various sections. You can see them all lining the hallways. Uh, this is my precious staff, redstone staff, uh, nether staff, uh, prismarine staff, and some wood over here. And um, not only have I put them down the corridors, but I've also put all the items within the sorting system itself. And therefore, it should, in theory, be running. Now, having said that, I'm not entirely sure this works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little test run. If I put in here, say, some grass blocks, some stone, a composter, kelp, and a hopper. So let's wait for those to go around the system and see if they end up in the right chests. Okay, the stone has arrived here. That looks promising. So actually, the items have arrived. We've got the kelp. We got a uh, hopper. So one way I can definitely test if the system's working um, and crush most of the problems is to put in a non-stackable item. Because that should go through the entire system and then end up in one of these bulk system chests at the end. So let's throw in this map 
and that will take a while to go all the way round but hopefully we should then see it arrive in this chest over here okay it's not arrived yet I'm gonna go and have a look to see if there's any obvious problems that it may be having ah there was one extra item here and that caused it to break I see okay so let's put all this stuff back in again Ah, still not here that's slightly disconcerting so we've got this system that collects the items from the sorting system and sends them to those last chests that we saw earlier uh, and to do that it goes through this hopper line that goes all the way around here and into a dispenser now the problem is over here this hopper here is too close to that redstone which means it's actually blocking it it's it's turning it off to fix it i need to make this hopper line go across somewhere but also avoid any kind of redstone and that's a bit tricky right here because i can't really see a line to go across okay i've used a slightly different approach and i'm just using some uh, droppers to send items upwards and then over here and into that system yeah that seems to be working so let's try it out with that map again and see if it does actually work all right let's put the map into the system and see if it gets to the other side <gasps> it's arrived it's arrived yes we've got the map okay okay so that means the sorting system is fully operational we can actually start putting all the items in and that is slowly unloading the shulkers into the system and with that slightly annoying ticking in the background i think this is a good point to end the episode i know there's been a lot of building this episode hopefully in the next episode we can do something a bit more social and obviously we need to get avian back because uh We've been scammed. We've been scammed. If you've enjoyed this episode, please remember to like and subscribe and leave comments. It really, really helps me so much. The YouTube algorithm isn't very kind with the people that don't have a lot of subscribers. So if you can help me by subscribing and by commenting, it really could make a big difference for my channel. And it also gives me a chance to make content which is more tailored to your own specific interests. Anyway, self-advertisement over. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. Until next time. 